Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new League of Legends video. So it finally has been announced, Rangar is going to be part of the big changes coming up in the Assassin rework. This is an assassin that a lot of people were sort of on their toes waiting to hear about, you know, what exactly is going to happen with him. Is he part of the big changes? Is he even going to be changed at all? The answer is finally here. Yes, he will be changed. And yes, they will be quite big ones. So throughout this video, I'll be going over all of the information we so far know as to what direction Rangar's rework will be taking him, what you can more or less expect to see. And we'll be talking about how Rangar is going to be utilizing some form of new stealth mechanics that they're adding to League of Legends. So if you want to check out the post for yourself, I'll have a link to it down below. And also make sure to let me know in the comments, what do you think of the direction Riot is taking Rangar? So one of the things that they're looking to re really change with Rengar is his ultimate because apparently, and it's kind of true, whenever Rengar is running at you with his ultimate and you finally see that exclamation mark above your head, chances are half the time if not more it's already too late. Chances are he's already on you, jumping on you and you're pretty much about to die. So the exclamation mark, even though the game is trying to tell you, watch out, Rangar's beside you, he's about to potentially jump on you, it doesn't really seem to be doing that good of a job of it. They're trying to add more counterplay to Rangar's ultimate where people can actually have a time or a chance to react to him about to jump on you, but also try and give Rangar tools and options to outwit and outmaneuver his opponents rather than needing to be so brute force about his things. Following this, they also want to heavily change, for the most part, his whole kit, because at the moment, he pretty much uses every single ability in his kit in a matter of maybe half a second. Since his Q ability is pretty much buffered, his ultimate is obviously the initiator, your E ability you use while you're jumping, and pretty much your W as well. Or at least it's very, very close to it, to the point where you are pretty much unleashing your full kit in half a second. Now, Riot states how they don't really think that's necessarily a bad thing, you know, making a really intense play and just using all your abilities and just kind of assassinating a target. I mean, yeah, that's technically how it should be, but it shouldn't be coming out as fast as it currently is. It should be more degrees of failure and success based on whether or not you use the abilities in proper order. And they even state, his new empowered W is looking to be a game changer. Moving along to change number three, they want to more or less rework the way his ferocity system currently works. Now the reason for this is actually quite simple because currently the way Rengar usually plays is you utilize your ferocity in the way where you stack it up maybe on monsters or minions, maybe get it to three, four, or essentially five stacks, pop your ultimate, jump on the back line, do your thing, get five stacks again because of your ultimate, and that's kind of how it works for the most part. But Ryder is trying to say, you know what, instead ferocity should be something that is essentially gained through out a fight. It's not something that Rangar should just stack up, utilize in his full burst combo that happens in half a second and then just peace out. Because also on the flip side, if Rangar ever does start a fight with maybe one or zero ferocity, he's probably not going to be gaining it very quickly and he's going to be very, very useless throughout the fight. So expect it now to heavily revolve around stacking up during a fight, but also helping you get your first empowered spell more quickly if you start the fight with zero or one stacks. And the final thing that they want to change about Rengar before we jump into some very interesting comments made by riders on the post is his Bone Tooth Necklace. Now, for the most part, it's a very interesting ability. It's got a great fantasy behind it and how it overall interacts, but the current way in which it works is just not ideal. When you think of Rengar and his Bone Tooth Necklace, you think of someone who's a hunter, someone who's proud of his work and wants to consistently hunt new prey. That's pretty much the direction they want to take the Bone Tooth Necklace because at the moment, yeah, yeah, technically he can kill five different people and get five stacks, but for the most part, a good Rengar will constantly feed off of the weakest person, keep getting stacks off of them to the point where he gets it up very, very quickly, and it doesn't really feel like that's how it should be working. So expect to be more or less forced to kill other people or unique targets in order to actually gain your stacks. So that right there are the four main directions that Riot is trying to take Rengar. But before we end off the video, there's a lot of really interesting comments that I want to share with you guys. So here's the very first comment that I want to share with you guys. Like I said about his passive, and you can see at the very last sentence of this comment, I like to think he wants to have at least one trophy from all of his enemies. Again, working off of the fantasy of you playing a proud hunter, someone who excels at killing several targets, not the same one over and over. The second comment is stating that his E ability and his passive leap are likely the spells that will change the least on his kit, which obviously means his Q ability, his actual passive, the Bone Tooth Necklace, his W, 
and his ultimates will be the ones that change the most. And this comment here is pretty much backing up what I just said, so expect to see some pretty big changes happening to Rengar's kit overall, except for his E. So I'm sure a lot of people are wondering what's gonna happen with the main issue, the thing that people just really dislike about Rengar and how fast he kills you. This comment right here answers that question. Ideally, his one shot now takes 1 to 2 seconds in the ahead case, rather than 0.5 to 1. His killing pattern will probably still be largely dependent upon his ultimate. So I know this is a huge concern for a lot of people and even though Ryan doesn't necessarily give us the exact information as to how his new combo or how fast exactly it'll be, they still give us a pretty darn good idea that yeah, it's not going to be anywhere near as fast and if anything, it'll technically be almost twice as long. But to compensate for this, he will supposedly have many new ways he can approach a different situation, so Rangar players should expect more depth to their kit as well. But here's where the things get a little bit more interesting, talking about some kind of new stealth mechanic coming to League of Legends. Apparently it's so new and big that they'll make another post separate actually talking about this new stealth mechanic in itself. But the point here is the fact that Rangar is going to be utilizing these new stealth mechanics or this new stealth system, so expect some very, very heavy changes to how overall his stealth mechanic is going to be working. But what makes this even cooler is the fact that they gave us an idea as to what they were testing with his ultimate back in the lab. And that ultimate actually made his whole team stealthed around him, where it's very similar to the character from Dota. And I mean, it sounds pretty damn strong where if he makes his whole team stealth, that can lead into some absolutely ridiculous plays or getaways or whatever. And I mean, I'm kind of glad it didn't go through as you see in the second sentence there, but it gives you an idea at the scope or how far they're willing to go with this new stealth mechanic with actually reworking Rengar because this one does seem pretty next level. And the final comment I want to share with you guys is this one. I don't think his build paths will change too dramatically. Some items may increase or decrease in priority, but his desire for stats should remain pretty similar to what it is now. So that comment is more of just a feels good one because yeah, you know, it kind of confirms that they're not trying to just completely change Rengar in terms of how he feels. Yeah, he's going to be different. Yeah, his kit is going to probably be quite heavily different to what it is now. But the idea, the fantasy behind the champion you're playing should still feel like you're playing Rengar. You're still going to be building those AD items. They're not trying to transform him into some weird AP caster. He's still going to be Rengar at his essence and at his core. But either way guys, that is about it for this video. There you have it, a lot of new and interesting information regarding Rengar's rework now confirmed to be part of the Big Four. There's still two more Assassin Champions that have yet to be announced to be part of the big changes, plus obviously the smaller changes as well. So once those get announced, I'll have videos up for you guys as soon as I can. But either way, make sure to let me know down below what do you think about this direction for Rengar. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to share this with your friends and let everyone else see what's happening to this Assassin. But thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you for the next video. Peace.